Hi, my name is Jeremy Ostrander, and I am uh, going to renew my CCDT certification. So I'm going to go through all the steps and I'll pass the test. Um, we're going to start here with this truck right here. I'm using a uh, Red Mountain J1667 certified meter uh, that I've been using for years. And uh, we're going to get started here. We got the hood open, and we're going to collect the data off the engine up top on top of the valve cover here. I have my ECL emission control label and I can see here that I'm running a 450 horse and I have a engine year of a, where are you at? The engine family starts with a G. So that's going to give me a uh, 2015 engine year. Okay. So we're going to go over here in my test menu. We're going to start by entering the company information. In this case here, I have uh, La Ciba Transportation. So let me just get this data entered real quick. Bear with me. This is being performed at my shop here at Diesel Exhaust and Emissions in Santa Fe Springs. I'm going to enter my name, my first and last name. I'm gonna put in my trainer code, my previous one. And then we're gonna data enter the license plate number next. We have a truck number. Running, running unit number zero five. We're gonna double check the year and make of the vehicle, which is a 2016 Peterbilt. I'm gonna plug in the vehicle mileage. Now before I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and block the tires real quick because I'm gonna discharge the air brakes before I test. So I got a block, I'm gonna block my tire, keep us from rolling. And then we have a mileage of 386,126 miles. Engine manufacturer was a Cummins. The year of the engine, we looked at the engine family and we confirmed the engine year is the same as the vehicle year. That was off the emission control label. The horsepower, we gathered that earlier, which is 450 horse. Stack is going up. And this is not a retrofit, it's an OEM DPF equipped. And I'm now ready to begin testing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck. Okay. Now, I am ready to begin testing. We're going to do a visual inspection of the exhaust. I gotta make sure there's no exhaust leaks. So I'm gonna be pretty dark. Sun coming from behind the turbo, down the downpipe, and up the tailpipe. I checked earlier, there's no exhaust leaks. So I'm gonna get one okay for a visual inspection. I allow the head to clear itself out. We're gonna perform feet out step, uh, steps. Get the centers out of the stack. Now that the meter's been zeroed out, I'm gonna put the meter in the stack. In this case, we have a single stack, so it doesn't matter. If it's a dual stack, we go closest to the turbocharger.
down after I just did a four second snap. We're ready for the next snap. And we're gonna continue this process. Right now I'm doing the preliminary clean out snaps. We got one more and then we'll do the official test. And again, after each four second snap, I'm waiting nine seconds for the engine to wind back down. And here comes the final snap. So now, you remove the sensor from the tailpipe. A better way to do it is I'm gonna leave the sensor in the tailpipe and cut the engine off. This allows for wind to not throw off the meter. It thinks the sensor's out of the stack. I'm gonna press enter and allow it to zero out. And again, by leaving the sensor in the stack with the engine off versus pulling the sensor out of the stack, you have less chance of, of throwing off the, uh, the light inside your uh, meter. So post-test uh, is valid and we have a good test. I'm gonna go ahead and print the results after I save. My air brake back on before I get out of the truck so we don't roll away. Now, we got a 2.59% which meets our 5% limit. This is a pass. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you for uh, yeah. taking the time to uh, watch the opacity standard. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.